Right, well... Now, ITV have been under attack for the decision to base coverage of live football around the so-called Big Five clubs this season. But as the term ends, Arsenal and Liverpool are tussling for the title. Tottenham have managed an amazing recovery. Remember, they were bottom in November. And Everton have reached two Wembley finals. But Manchester United, though, are ending the season with mounting problems. A string of recent defeats means that they'll finish in the bottom half of the table. Well, last week, this book, Manchester United, The Betrayal of a Legend, was published, criticising the club on two main fronts. Firstly, it launches a highly personal attack on United chairman Martin Edwards. And secondly, alleges that the club's overtly commercial attitude is to the continuing detriment of the playing strength. Alan Parry has this report. Please, attention, please. At Old Trafford, home of Britain's biggest crowds for a quarter of a century, the houseful signs have gathered dust all season. United's decline has meant an alarming drop in attendances, and with 20 minutes to kick off against Everton, the faithful who have turned up are subdued and concerned. This revealing book blames United's failure to win the league championship for 22 years, largely on their directors, and in particular, chief executive Martin Edwards. He's very hurt. He has this image and reputation uh, in Manchester of being Mr. Moneybags because he's very closely involved with the uh, profit-making area of the club as chief executive. Um, he uh, spent a lot of money buying shares to follow his father to keep control of the club. He takes a handsome salary out of the club. All these things... Uh, uh, contribute to the, this image that the ordinary fan has of him. But at the end of the day, you've got to say about Martin Edwards is that he's a fan. He spent a lot of money to get, uh, to indulge his, his interest, if you like, to his, his investment. Uh, I reckon he's got about a million pounds invested uh, in the club at the moment through buying shares. Now, okay, he takes a, uh, a good salary out and occasionally he takes a dividend on his shares. but. In financial terms, he, he's had a poor return. Uh, he'd have done better, really, sticking his money in the building society. Well, we asked Martin Edwards for an interview on a subject, but he declined the opportunity to speak. But, Jimmy, United for a great club, they, they are in some disarray at the moment, aren't they? They are in some disarray, Ian, but I can't understand why this obsession is to win the league title. I mean, it's, it's as though they feel it's their right to, and they, nobody's got that right. I mean, not even Liverpool have got that right. And I think once this obsession ceases and they turn around and say, right, let's get a team that can play football, let's get a quality side together, it might all come together. And the managers that have been there, some of them good, like Doc and Atco and people like that, should not have really got the sack. They've only been sacked because of United's obsession, and it is an obsession now, to win the championship. They've got no right to win it. So get a good side yeah. and start playing together. That's how I see it. You, so you think the chairman is right to say, Alex Ferguson, OK, Alex, another couple of years in your contract, carry on. Why not? All right. Why not? Get a bit of stability about it. Why not? OK. Right, well, we'll take a break now in part two action from the lower divisions, a couple of fun items, and the goal of the season competition. We'll see you in a couple of minutes.